It's Thursday, August 22nd, 2013. I'm Chris Sigler, and my favorite genre of movies is post-apocalyptic crime noir sci-fi thrillers with light comedic undertones. Well, that and Fast and Furious. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Apple's purchased the popular public transit app Embark. This adds to the recent purchases of Hopstop and the crowdsource mapping tool Locationary. Apple's confirmed the purchase but gave no details as to why. The company took quite a hit last year after releasing its Google Maps competitor that lacked public transportation. Apple's expected to announce a new iPhone next month, but of course that's a rumor the company won't confirm. Apple may be moving quickly, but today Nasdaq was doing anything but. Nasdaq's stock market activity was suspended at 12.14 p.m. today. A computer glitch in its system stopped pricing data from being sent out, which caused trading to grind to a stop. This comes after a series of high-profile glitches for NASDAQ, including having its email servers cracked by hackers. And finally, Marvel has gone from comic books to movies to TV and now to a town near you. Marvel Experience, a theme park-like attraction, will tour across 20 to 24 U.S. states beginning in spring 2014. The $30 million venture will include original 3D animated movies, holograph simulations, and a 4D motion ride. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the event, which is a, quote, first-person superhero adventure, will remain in each city for several days. This is big news for the people of San Diego who haven't seen a large-scale superhero event in quite some time. And that's it for today's top stories. Coming up tomorrow, I team up with my long-lost twin who's been living in England to devise a plan to reunite our divorced parents.